Good afternoon, I'm Bill Cook from Greenlee County Cooperative Extension in Duncan, Arizona. We're going to do a little bit of planting. This is my preferred planting technique. It, so we start with, this is where the plant's going to go. And I'm going to take one shovel of soil and I'm going to set it aside. Then I'm going to take one shovel full of this mill organite fertilizer. and put it in the hole. Now you might think that's a lot of fertilizer. Well, this particular fertilizer is water insoluble, so it's not gonna burn anything. And it feeds the soil a lot more than it feeds the plant. So we're actually feeding soil and letting the soil feed the plant. So I've got a shovel full there. I'm gonna come around here about two, three times the, the width of the plant, of the root ball, and I'm going to just loosen the soil up and I'm going to mix the fertilizer as I go. Generally speaking, I like to have my soil a lot wetter than this, nice and moist when I plant. If you get the chance to get it a little wetter ahead of time, that's always a good thing. Have the soil all nice and mixed. Now we're gonna take our amended soil out of the hole. We've more or less used the hole for a mixing bowl, just kind of to blend it all together. And I'm planting this pretty close to this fence because my aim is to use this fence as a trellis. Make the hole nice and wide fluff up the soil. I like to think of it more as, rather than digging a hole, I like to think of it as digging a home. So we only want to loosen and amend the soil to the depth of the root ball itself. We want to plant the root ball flush with the, with the finished grade. And a quick and easy way to do a measure is take your shovel, check how deep your hole is, take your shovel, check how deep your root ball, and I say root ball, not necessarily the pot. So we get all set. Then to take this plant out, we, we nudge the bottom with our knee to kind of loosen it up to take it out. Then we inspect for any roots that have wound around because we don't want to have a root bound plant. So we take any of these roots here and we kind of spread them out. We set our plant in the hole the home and this being the finished grade that looks pretty darn good we'll just shim it up just a whisker and then we're going to put some soil back in and we want the soil when it's all said and done even with the top of the root ball we don't want to bury that root ball because oftentimes if you put too much soil over the root ball it can kind of suffocate the roots it can form like a roof over that the root ball can dry up pull away from the sides of the hole and it makes it really hard to get it wet again so we're just going to kind of build up a little bit of a well And then we're going to use water to settle the soil. Okay. 
So we're gonna give it a real good drink there. We'll give it a minute or two to settle. We'll add soil as needed. Build the well around it. And then it'll be planted. So get that in there, get it leveled off. Add a little more water. We'll let that settle again. And we may have to add a little soil later on. You know, I'll give it, give it a day or so to finish settling and usually you're good. Sometimes you have to add a little, whatever, but uh, this is my preferred planting technique. Things seem to really go. This mill organite gives them a good jump start. It's very high in micronutrients. The NPK, the numbers are pretty unimpressive, but that's all right because the micros are there and the soil's fertile to begin with. So it's all good. In a year's time, this is gonna probably take up at least 10 feet of this fence.